What is going on guys? We're back with another video. Huge shout out to everybody that said congratulations on me having a little boy, man. I really appreciate all y'all taking the time to look at that video. Something way out of the ordinary, but it was pretty cool. Uh oh, boss man's here. Boss lady. I'm not talking about you, I'm talking about my little girl back there. Nah. <laughs> what are those? <laughs> Anyways guys, yes. Uh, thank you for all that. I do have some bad news, man. Stay tuned for it, y'all fixing to get it. I'm gonna throw that in there right now. Y'all take a look at it. So like I said, guys, I got some bad news. It's not really bad news, but it is for some people that are trying to get in here. Um, we've officially stopped taking in uh, deposits for future dates here at the shop. Uh, we just got to a point where we overbooked ourselves. Totally our fault. But I think we owe it to our customers that we're just gonna stop taking in any deposits on like uh, full coil overdraws, back halves, air ride, uh, stuff like that, like like the big, huge stuff. We still we will still be doing wheels, tires, drop kits, lift kits, selling parts and stuff like that. But I've noticed that we've been slowing down a lot, and that's not what we want to be known for. So I think it's to the best interest of my customers that we stop taking in any big jobs and finish what we have here. So the way I see it is that by the time we finish everything that we have here and scheduled in, it's right at maybe like March of next year. Then in March of next year, that's when I'll start taking in new deposits from March going forward. Um, I know some of you guys have already came and wanted to talk to me about it or whatever, but you know, I needed to clear my mind, figure out exactly what we were going to do. So for anybody that's wanting to come in to do air ride or anything like that, like I do apologize, but it won't be till after March of next year. Right now, we're just trying to clear up everything that we have here. We got a bunch of big builds. Um, we got a few that just left. We got another one that's leaving today. Well, I mean, you're looking at the one now. This truck's going to leave today. The only thing that we're going to be missing to do on our part is the bed. That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more. All we're going to do is that. They're still going to take you to go get it LS swapped. And then they're going to do the interior and then paint and body. And then from that's it. From there, that's it. We're, we're done. But like I said, guys. I owe it to my customers. I owe it to you guys. I'm really appreciative of everything that y'all done for me. So it's my turn to give back. I need to hurry up, get on our A game, and finish all of your trucks. So with that being said, guys, sorry. I do apologize, but it's for the best of everybody. And then starting off next year, we're going to run super smooth, scheduled accordingly and everything to where you get in. You know, according to whatever we quote you on on time, you're going to get right back out, get you taken care of, and get you rolling. Because I want to see all of y'all happy, man. I want to see all my guys happy, too. And that's what we're here for, to take care of each other. So enjoy the rest of the video, guys. I hope you like the content. Uh, huge shout out to everybody that's been commenting on whether it was going to be a boy or a girl. And they're saying congratulations on it being a boy or whatever. We're super ecstatic. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of the video, man. I appreciate each and every one of you again. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Y'all stay tuned, man. A whole bunch of stuff coming up. Hope you enjoy it. You know? Apenitas íbamos a comenzar a grabar y llegó este ah, camarada. Sí, Ahora sí, ya, te, ya me terminó las partes que tiene un mes haciéndolas. Este camarada viene ayer con el cliente y me dice, eh, güey, ¿tienes las partes que te pedí hace un mes? Enfrente del cliente, le dije, no manches, güey, me acabo de decir hace como 10 minutos. Hace un pinche Entonces, mes. Y luego me hace enfrente del cliente, ¿verdad que sí? Hace un mes te dije, ¿verdad? <risa> Making me look bad so he could look good. ¿Cómo te parece? ¿Te gustó o no? Eh, está muy bueno, no es para mí. ¿Está bien, verdad? <risa> ¿Y qué pasó con los brajitos? ¿Por qué no limpiaron todo eso? Porque eso no es para nosotros, güey. ¿Se lo voy a mandar a por el corte también, güey? Nah, es que tienen gomas, güey. No, tienen ya, gomas. No van a, van a chingar. Y luego tiene grasa y los greasers. Dije, nada, eso no se va a manchar todo bien feo. Ahorita lo que está diciendo él es que vamos que ahorita los, los limpio todos con brake cleaner. Y además los pintamos todo negro. Yeah. Para que se mire más o menos. Le tapamos todo y lo pintamos negro. Yeah. Pero... Pues ya ponte a trabajar, güey, porque nomás... Ya, está la chingada. Entonces, uh, ahí, ahí está el, el dealer, güey. Ahí está el fado, mi girl ahorita lo va a cortar. ¿Ya, ya está? Sí, no, el fado está ahí, mi girl me lo va a hacer. Hey, yo voy a la troca, ya, ya estoy quitando. Bueno, dale, viejito, lo voy a hacer, vamos a ver. ¿Cuántos meses? ¿Otra media hora más? Te dije 30 minutos, güey, pasan 10. Ah, sí, Dame 20, 20 y yo te lo tengo. <risa> ¿Qué piensas que no trae no, pa? Chinga, <risa> madre. Dale, 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 d
mames, esa droga <risa> tiene dos meses aquí, güey, que estás haciendo eso porque no ha acabado. Ya, bueno, sí. <laughs> so yeah guys y'all heard the bad news uh we're no longer taking in any big drops we're trying to figure out how to finish all this actually we're not trying to figure out we just figured it out and that's why i put that on there uh yeah so we want to finish what we have here we got this one that's leaving today it's going to mini truck nationals we're going to slap the cab on there they're going to take it after we're finished with it all we got to do is do the bed after we're finished with it they're going to do a ls swap interior and then they're going to do paint and body on it we took it all off and powder coated everything in red baron we did white control arms red spindles lower control arms new shocks new shock mounts some of the stuff that was on the frame was already done we ended up just taking care of all the back i, I had to check it out what we ended up doing was we ended up cutting off all that stuff man because the frame was really crooked we ended up straightening out the whole frame we cut off all the inner structures that they had put on there all the gussets all the bag mounts everything we took everything off and then we ended up doing everything from scratch so we did it new crossbars new shock mounts we did a five link on it uh the new crossbars in the front we did new bed mounts and then those right there check them out so we did new uh bed mounts uh new compressor mounts we redid the whole rear end we did new Mosier axles uh posi unit gears on new bearing basically a fully rebuilt rear end uh new bag mounts i mean we went all out on this truck so all new brakes brake pads bearings rotors calipers i mean the whole nine yards like i said before it's all going to be fully adjustable on the on the five link we just ran into a bump stop huh Fucking line, it keeps getting... yeah we had a little problem with one of the lines but it's all good we'll put a new fitting on there and take care of it uh we did a new transmission cross member for the ls swap um pretty much did the whole thing so oh fuel cell we did the fuel cell basket. We're gonna put a fuel cell mount right here and then it's gonna have a strap going down like this. I'm gonna build something funny for it. Y'all gonna like it. I'll give y'all a hint. It has to do with red and white. So that being said, guys, y'all keep the y'all keep an eye out for the progress that we're gonna keep doing on this truck today. We're gonna put the whole thing together, slap the front end on, slap the cab rear end, and all that good stuff. Load it up on the trailer and then it's off to mini truck nationals, right? Yeah, it's going to mini truck nationals. Huge shout out to my boy Juan. And Mondo, man, we stayed here late last night, putting everything together. And uh, they showed up again early in the morning. Well, not Mondo, right? But Juan did. I'm going to show you the new temporary worker right now. Now I'm be like, what? the progress on the s10 guys they already got the rear end centered in right now what they're doing is making sure that all the pinions right they're putting the track bar uh new fittings on the bags we're fixing to put in the fuel cell we're gonna make a nice little strap for the fuel cell it's gonna be pretty funny y'all i'll make sure and wait and check that out at the end of the video but 
here it is basically a finished frame i mean basically it's just in a way for the drivetrain to get, get put on but uh we're fixing to slap on the fox shocks come on slap on the fox shocks and that's it for the back right uh, for the back, yeah. yeah for the, the back that's it and then put the fuel cell on the strap and slap the cab on there and then they'll be able to take it away man i check it out guys this shit looks dope The little air stands gonna be turning heads, honestly. Don't sleep on the K5 because that K5 is coming up. Y'all make sure to keep an eye out for that K5 because it will be at Texas Hold'em. Completely done and driving on its own free will. We're gonna do a crunch time on that one so we can have it there. So we'll have that one. Maybe, maybe my dually there. If not, we'll have Juan's there, right, Juan? Uh, we'll have the, uh, the white crew cab on 2816s there. Mondo, what's wrong, Mondo? Nothing. Why keep smiling? No, nothing. Your girl broke up with him. Your girl broke up with you? No. You got a girl? No. That's an interview. You got a girl? No. No? no. Oh, okay. What do you drive? A lifted ass uh, GMC. A lifted ass? What's that? 12 inch lift GMC <laughs> A 12 inch lift GMC Sierra, you say. Guys, y'all check out the new work uniforms. Check out the new drip. Let me know what y'all think about them. Long sleeves, con blue jeans. Bueno, it's the blue jeans? No, it's just, acaban de llegar, so they just put the shirts on. We don't wear uh, tight jeans around here. Juan. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> A ver, Eddie, enséñame el tuyo. El uniforme, el uniforme. No, más para el baño. Nah, el uniforme, mira. Damn. <laughs> yeah, so the uniform guy, Leo, he hooked it up. Remember what I told you? Let's give him your phone number again. Vamos a darle el phone number de Wallah. ¿Cuál es el phone number? Leo Vidal, 713-493-4110. Any needs you got for uniforms, shops, este, carnicerias, taquerias, a little bit of everything we, we take care of. Yeah, make sure to check him out, man. Look, he came through, he followed up on everything. Once they got delivered, he came and he checked up on us, make sure everything fit. He uh, hooked us up with all kinds of stuff, man. Like I said, check it out. You think fit awesome? Shout out to my boy, Leo. Pero, ya saben, the phone number, I'm gonna put it down at the bottom so y'all can check him out. If y'all need anything, hit him up. For y'all that don't know, a lot of y'all were asking me why did I sell Party of Five, which was a Suburban. Um, the reason I had got the Suburban was because my brother was supposed to buy the current truck that I was working on, but my little girls didn't let that happen. We ended up not selling it, we ended up keeping it. So with that being said, man, I'm gonna introduce y'all to Big Booty Judy. That is right, I own this truck. It's a 94 Chevy Dually. Actually, I'm sorry, it's a 94 GMC Dually. It's bagged on 24s all the way around. It has a three link in the bag, custom upper and lower control arms, draw spindles. Uh, it used to have a big old rag top sunroof on top. It used to be white. I ended up shaving the whole roof off. I mean, I'm sorry, I ended up cutting off the whole roof off and then putting a whole new roof, just skinned it. My, uh, my brother-in-law's did that for me they helped me out uh truly appreciate them man shout out to them and then we ended up just doing the body work and doing sealer on it the compressors are unhooked and the airlift is unhooked so right now uh mondo's hook taking care of me right now he's gonna hook up the uh the airline we're gonna pick it up manually we're gonna drive it out of here it's gonna go to the body shop in about a month and a half maybe two months so i need to start getting it ready for the body shop so we haven't started it in i don't know how many months we put a jumper on it it started right on Thank God, it, it still runs perfect, still has AC, heater, has everything. So, y'all make sure y'all keep an eye out for this one because when it comes out of the paint shop, it's gonna have a full sheet metal bed. We're gonna sheet metal all the front end and it's gonna have a complete color change. Hopefully y'all like it, man. Yeah, so for those of you that don't know, this is Big Booty Judy, formerly known as Dusley. You know, get it, Dusley, Dooley. But um, yeah, we're gonna try to start getting it ready. We've been working our asses off here at the shop to try to get everything out. So I'm going to try my best to have this one at Texas Hold'em along with the K5. But if not, I'm going to leave mine here. That ain't a priority. My priority is to have uh, the 80s K5 there at the show just to kind of show off the work or whatever. Y'all check it out. Let me know what y'all think of my dually. I've been having it for a while. Here in the next two weeks, we're going to take the wheels off and send them off to Dima. He's going to custom cut the wheels. I'm going to get new center caps, uh, a little bit bigger tire. And then, like I said, we're just going to sheet metal the bed, sheet metal the front, and then take it to paint. 
They're gonna take all the doors off, glass, take the cab off, paint the frame, do everything. Follow me, yeah, man, though. My baby. It's old, ugly, but reliable. So this is gonna be the end of the video. Let me know what y'all think of the work being performed in the video. Let me know what y'all think about my dually. I know a lot of you didn't, didn't even know that I had that dually, but I've been having that dually for about six years, maybe. Uh, when I first got it, it was just white on some like ugly, like off-road 20s or something, some fuel 20s or moto metal 20s. I don't know what they were, they were ugly though. We did all the air ride, the extended bed size, we reskinned the roof, thanks to my brother-in-laws. Uh, I got a whole new interior for it. It's going to paint in about two months. I can't wait for that. Let me know what color y'all think I should paint it. It's three o'clock. My guys worked their, their tails off all week long. They deserve to go home early today. Two of them went to Extreme Off-Road. One went to go spend time with his wife and kids. I'm about to go spend time with my wife and kids and you know, try to make up for lost times during the week. But thank you guys for watching, man. Let me know what y'all want to see. Let me know what y'all think I should record. Something that'll keep y'all happy. After all, that's what we're here for, man, to keep y'all happy. Uh, everybody that's waiting in line to come in, like y'all like heard before, we changed it all up now, man, so your time's coming. I don't know who that was, but they honked. So, y'all peace out, guys. Y'all stay safe, man. Have a good weekend. Enjoy your weekend. I'll catch y'all on the next one, all right? Peace.